boys. Welcome to MJ Performance again. With Rich, and Morty. Hang on. And what? Do I get to say hi as well? Yeah. Yeah, go on, Martin. Go on, Rich. Yeah. Uh, hang on a minute. Did you just, uh, before we start here, do you want to just scan down to the. Uh, what? I well, just couldn't boy. be bothered this morning. Well, the right. boy. Oh, you know, he's just me come off sight, isn't he? <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think it's good enough, uh, hey, Martin. Look, to be look, honest, it's, it's shrinking. Look, yeah. it's shrinking. It's going. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's weight loss. <laughs> it's weight loss is going well. What it is, he's got a larger uh, hoodie on. <laughs> Nothing to do with that. He's got a larger <laughs> yeah. hoodie. Yeah, that's well, the thing. Well, anyway, enough yeah. for the Mickey taking for yeah. a minute. Um, yeah, we're here today just to have a little yeah. walk around of the garage. It's mental here at the minute um i don't think there's another garage in the area that would have this type of machinery in yeah quite well, a few fast forwards in at the moment yeah 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 well um excuse <laughs> excuse for the, the uh traffic in the background yeah yeah that you would experience every so often but um this is a fairly busiest road with yeah. it being residential so yeah right then tim let's uh walk over to the uh okay. we're just gonna have a little walk around guys that's all just to yeah. let you know what's what and what we've got um so this is quite a special car garage, in, isn't it? What's happening in the garage and what we've got pending waiting to come into the garage. So yeah. um, so this one, uh, as you know, Tim, so Revo uh, ran a competition uh, to win uh, a stage two performance back on Mark III Focus RS. And fortunate for the owner of this one, the couple, and fortunately for us, being a Revo dealer, um, it was somebody in the southwest. Fantastic. Yeah. So um, I might have to cut that because uh, of the yeah, I think we'll try take two on that yeah, one then, Martin. Sorry, sorry about that rude interruption there, guys. That was yeah. two Golfs, and you can still hear them in the background now. Yeah. Diesels, which yeah. have been uh, heavily modified, and um, whatever, innit? They came in to see us, and that's why they're interested in the Ford well, they, they spotted them, they spotted all the cars outside, and yeah, sort of just that. decided to pull in, see what's yeah, going on. Well, as, as we'll see on the video, Rich, we've got yeah. quite a few nice cars, haven't we? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. here to begin with, yeah. Uh, Martin, this is quite a special one, isn't it? Do you want to tell people why? Yeah, it's so here? this one is the one that um, um, Revo ran a um, competition for uh, Mark III Focus RS owners to win the Stage Two Performance Pack. And then, luckily for the uh, the owners, the couple that this one, and for us, uh, they won it. So yeah. in, that's fantastic. So yeah. they're not too far away from us. And we get to do fit the the, the stage two performance pack. Yeah, yeah lo lovely uh, young couple. We yeah. met them last week. That's not it. not only a performance pack, but I think they've seen what else is going on in the garage, and I think yeah. there may they're be a their, few. They're getting their list together. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming great. for this car. That's as well. the importance, well, yeah. guys, yeah. of having yeah. having demo cars, development cars, yeah. ongoing stuff. What you're doing because that's what people want to see. Exactly um, why we do it. So that's why we do it. But this one's going to be. Um, this is a, a job that's uh, we're going to make a start on this one next week. As you'll see when we take you into the uh, into the walk around in the workshop, you'll you'll understand why that's going to be next week and that we can't do it. It's got um, it's got the old Ken Block wheels, isn't it? The old oh, 15, it's got 52s. The 15, 52s. Yeah, you don't. See, it's not a it's not something you see very often on on these, but that's no. a choice that. Um, uh, the customers went forward. They love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it yeah we think it looks cool, don't we? It does look cool. Yeah, it's different. Day, it? It's the it's yeah. back to the old. Like you said, the old yeah. Kenbot. Back to the old school uh, rally stuff, uh, Rich, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, it does very similar to the old uh, Revolution yeah. wheel. It's it does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll get the bug once they have the stage two performance pack on this, because at the moment this is this doesn't run any software map. It's got an upgraded recirc valve, uh, I believe, and sound suppressor for that horrible turbo yeah. whistle that some of them experience. Other than that, it's. It's pretty pretty, pretty standard, standard yeah. yeah, which yeah. is good for us because uh, I think it's got a mount, half mount tune air intake on it, but great for us because that means that we can... Blank canvas. Yeah, we can yeah. put our own mark on it and uh, they can see what things look like, yeah. as you'll see yourself when we when we do a walk around into the... Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll quickly... On Twitter with a Rich look, we'll just quickly yeah. walk, well, we'll just quickly walk past the... Can you can't miss these, you've got to do this. Common as much these Stage 4 STs, aren't they? <laughs> Three yeah. of them in the garage three, at the moment. Three Stage 4 STs, or as in... RT330. Yeah. Obviously, it is our well-known little beast, um, which is still having bits and pieces done on it. We're putting another cold air feed um, to the sealed air box. Yeah. Get some more nice cold air in there. Um, hopefully, make it run a lot cleaner. Um, yeah, and be yeah. yeah maybe increase the, the horsepower slightly. Um, this is a custom, a really good custom voice. He's. Um, Coming back in again, he'll be having all sorts of bits. Yeah, this is the one where we mentioned, guys, where Malcolm's 
with the uh, H&R coilovers. Yeah. The same as what we were on the Little Beast. Yeah. They've now arrived. So again, job for next week. Yeah. Uh, also, we're going to be. He wants some cosmetics um, uh, additions fitted to it on the rear uh, spoiler lip. Um, some other little bits and pieces that he wants to do. Uh, rear diffuser, which we'll you know we'll sort that out for him as well when it's in here. We'll give it a, a, a post health check as well because it yeah. runs quite a bit of our our upgraded mod. So yeah, that's we'll do a feature on that um, in another video. So. Yeah. Uh, in depth, so that'd be good. Obviously, behind now we've got. Yeah, let's walk through um, to. Um, let's, let's, let's walk through to. Um, let's walk through to TD's. Um, yeah. It's very um, special ST 180, which is. How, how's it? How's it going, Tim? Living yeah. with it every day? Is it still? Yeah, yeah, still enjoying it. Obviously, the weather's a bit better now, so yeah. you can get get out there and enjoy well, it. Well, important to get feedback from yeah. like yourself yeah. and Malcolm. Yeah, yeah. Um, when Monty's is done down in the uh, workshop, there, the very special Black yeah. M Sport. Yeah. That'll be another video to do, and he'll give you your, your honest, yeah, honest opinion nice on that. It's just to know that this kind of power yeah. Yeah. is, you know, drivable every day. I mean, well, I, I mean, as you know, uh, Rich, this is my uh, daily car. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. can have a lot, you can have a lot of fun That's with it, but yeah, it's, it's very practical. Yeah. As yeah. you know, I took it down, did the weekly shop this morning with it, so yeah. 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 did you, you have can Daisy the, with you in the car? Did I have what? Miss Daisy with you in the car. No. Uh, I almost went on boost, Rich. <laughs> I, scared, also, I scared myself. Also, yeah, I almost went on boost. I will was be honest there, with you. Was there any fights going on in the oil for Brussels sprouts? <laughs> no, there wasn't. No, right. no, oh, right. no, no, no one fighting over the last right. uh, Brussels sprouts this time. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> well, now we've, um, yeah. yeah, we will um, got a, a potential new customer coming yeah. today to yeah. uh, see us. Um, well, um, yeah, so. Make our way down to um, to this cracking Mark III Focus RS in the signature nitrous blue. Um, it's had bits and pieces done on it. Uh, I believe that um, you know the owner uh, Joe. Yeah, Joe's here with like us now. We'll, yes. bring, we'll bring Joe into it. Um, yeah. yeah. And then I mean he'll be able to tell us a little bit of, more than what we will about the car. Yeah. Um, and then what he's how he's how he come about us what his plans are to do with the car and then go from there and then we'll, we'll, we'll come in and let you have a bit more info afterwards guys so yeah. um yeah we'll, we'll hand you over to joe yeah. and um yeah how, how do you, uh, you you found us obviously on social media mate i mean obviously it shows that this sort, sort of thing actually works and uh i think so far hopefully joe likes what he's seen i yeah. mean what do you think of the garage man yeah the garage is spot on i mean I, I've, yeah. I've just moved into the area and i, I picked this little beast up um over christmas so this is my new um sort of weekend toy um and obviously it's, it's going forward it's who's going to look after the car who can i trust you know going forward where am I gonna, where's the knowledge going to be so i was doing a bit of ringing around googling looking on the internet as, as you do and i come across a youtube channel um and i've seen the first video that i've seen was the the dartmoor beast video which is an awesome video <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we had a bit of fun with yeah. that one yeah, yeah. Well, that's good though aren't it? because you, yeah. you're looking at i mean it's not you own a mark three focus rs yeah. that's an yeah. st but yeah. that the st is what yeah. has triggered you to come here which is yeah. great isn't it yeah. I mean, you'd think it'd be oh you know it was the mark three focus rs but it's it's not so yeah that's that's that, that, that's that's yeah, that's yeah. how it works in that yeah, day, yeah. Isn't it? so that's um, no, the uh, I mean this looks really aggressive with the with the low line kit on it, and uh, yeah, it's um, yeah. It's I mean, I've I picked it up. As, yeah, I picked it up as it is actually. So what? So as I picked it up, what it's got on it? So it's got obviously your your, your low line kit on it. It's got 15 mil um, HR spacers on it. It's got 20 mil HR lowering springs. Yeah, which is but that which is all what we we would fit, what we yeah, recommend, yeah. and what we yeah. would fit, Joe. So yeah. that, that's that's brilliant. That's it's nice a good base. Yeah. yeah, we we. We've tried that, tested that. It works very, very well. Yeah. yeah. Um, low line kit, fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what else is on it? So, then? so the good bits then, obviously, um, he, the guy before me, he's got the mountain intake. Um, it's running a full DCAT Miltec turbo back exhaust system. It's currently running the um, Puma Speed uh, Stage Two Plus software on it. Um, but one of the reasons I'm, I'm down here talking to these guys is I prefer the Revo setup. I don't know if you guys have, have, have looked into it, but I like the way that the Revo's got a lot of safety features built into it. So if your car's overheating in, in certain aspects, yeah. it can back off the power a bit because these things ain't too hard to blow up. You no, know, we don't like want, said, like we don't said want before, that. guys. You know, yeah. we don't knock anybody else's no. uh, software. We only we're only we can only uh, comment on what we do. Uh, and like Joe says, he's asked me about it, inquired about it, uh, and I tell him the honest truth that 
the global testing is what does it. The same for you, Tim, on the ST. It's it's safe, usable power. Um, it's where you want to be, and you know there, there's that's why that that's why we recommend it. Um, well, it's you testament can. to it. it is, yeah. How long have you been dealing with Revo now? Oh. Um, I mean, we're into uh, you know, year two now, haven't we? Yeah, so. year two. So in two years, uh, touch wood, I mean, there's been no catastrophic failures with the tuning system that we've fitted. No. Um, you know, the little beast just keeps on going with the standard internals of the Revo tuning system. So that's why we are you know, yeah. recommend it to yeah. Joe. It's yeah. the backup, it's yeah. everything, it's the service he'll get at the garage as well. Um, I think we've had Joe here now for two, three hours with us, yeah. you know, hopefully making him feel like he's welcome. Um, and that's the way it will be. It's not just a one-off when you come in and we want your money. It will be now, like yourself, Tim, you become part of the MJ family. Yep. We'll be inviting him to track days, yeah, whatever we're doing. Shows and yeah, and static shows. Yeah, static shows so that you become part of the MJ family performance family um, yep. and then you know we'll uh, yeah we'll um yeah another another really interruption guys but we're, yeah. <laughs> we're still here with Joe uh, and another one and another one, one another one in the background but yeah, yeah. nothing to do with us yeah, nothing yeah, to do yeah, with no, us no. but it was um yeah it was nice to meet Joe this morning and obviously yeah. lovely to see another RS in, in at the garage. Yeah, yeah. yeah we love seeing him. I mean, it's good to have a chat with Joe because he, he's come in and asked me. We spent a few hours with him. He's come in, had a look around, uh, which we'll show you guys in, you know, uh, shortly in, in the workshop, etc. So it gives him an insight into what we're all about, what we do, what we've got on, on the go at the moment. Because if he came here and I had nothing here at all, it would be like, mm, that would be alarm bells. be thinking, well, hang on, <laughs> yeah. um, what's going on here? So, and then we've had a chat about, um, he's already said it runs a, a Puma Speed there, stage two, he thinks. It's got all the rest of the bits and pieces on it. Uh, we've talked about the main tune uh, intake. It's only the half of the uh, crossover pipe, so we're going to go for it. I've showed him the uh, the Revo setup, which is a full pre prepaid carbon mm -hmm. crossover pipe. I think, yeah. Joe, you like that? Smart yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think he's interested in that. That's we've just gone around and, and on, give, give our honest opinion to you. Is that right, Joe? Yeah. Give your honest yeah, opinion no of, no, of what we think would work on his car yeah. and what we can do for him not take this off get rid of that you mm -hmm. know that, we don't operate like that that's not yeah. what we would do yeah exhaust perfect no problem at all that's what we would fit you know the miltex great um and the other bits and pieces that go rid of the low line kit the springs suspension um side of it brakes we're going to talk about Ooh. okay <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i mean yeah. he's been fortunate he's come at the right time because what yeah. he's done is he's, he's he's actually been able to uh view you know in the flesh the new MJP brake setup, bespoke big brake setup for the Mark III Focus RS. It's not been released yet, so yeah. he was fortunate to see see it. Um, <laughs> and you know, we'll share it with you guys soon. But yeah. um, we'll yeah. give you a little teaser where we'll show you. But yeah. uh, you won't really be able to make it out yeah. if we walk around. Look, we're <laughs> right, this is the this car runs uh, the full KW DDC plug and play coilovers. Okay, so that works, and it's got like I said before. I think it was on the it was on the lift before. So when we were talking about the suspension, we've put every Powerflex brush on this car, front and rear, which is available in the Black Series. That's yeah. a bit extreme for some people, but it's a demo test development car. It doesn't matter. So we just put that on on it, and then we'll see what it's like. Um, camera adjustable front and rear. So we've got some negative camera uh, adjustment on you know, yeah. uh, on both axles. Well, we're gonna take it out this afternoon yeah, as well. Yeah, we are. Test test these massive brakes. Um, I I can't wait to get out. I mean the the beast's brakes were a shot. Yeah. I think this yeah. is going to be. Well, it is. Um, I mean, as you know, Rich is our yeah. our chief test driver. Yeah. As I keep saying, this just come around here. <laughs> yeah. In case you don't know. All right. So he's uh, so he, <laughs> he tested the car first. So he's the yeah. first one in the car yeah. to test it. Yeah. And then um, we'll get some feedback. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this runs on the Michelin's Pilot Sport Cup Two tires. Yeah. Which is the upgrade from the Super Sports? Like, so Joe's got the the, the factory fitted Super Sports on on his, which are yeah. which are great. That's fine. But yeah. that, this it's just a pity our viewers can't see him because I've pixeled out, <laughs> pixelated them out, front and Martin, yeah. But they do Sorry look fantastic. They'll, they'll see them soon. We'll finish yeah. testing them soon. I mean, you can you can yeah. just scan around to Joe Lutt and then. Yeah, I think Joe's yeah. impressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely yeah. impressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's. Um, yeah. 
No, we, we, they're they're phenomenal. Yeah. Seeing the car set out. And this here this obviously, the, I mean, people might have spotted it from the spoiler, but this isn't just a standard uh, RS, is it, Martin? It's no, one of the edition say, this cars. Is the, this is the edition one. So yeah. it's one of five hundred. Yeah. Um, it's our demo development car. That's the one to, to choose, uh, really. Um, it comes with some carbon options inside, with regards to the you know the handbrake lever, um, the pods for the three dials. Okay, the door the door grabs that that comes as, as standard, which you don't get on the standard uh, R3 Focus RS. Just little bits and pieces. We're going to be putting loads of carbon fiber on this car, but because I'm a dealer for Kuro Carbon uh, in the southwest, it's all real pre preg yeah. carbon. It's not um, no vinyl wrap. No, or it's not a dip or or a sticker or whatever. It's proper. You know, hence why like, I'll give you an example. So the rear spoiler on that, which is a complete replacement pre preg carbon fiber, you're looking over two thousand pounds for that rear spoiler. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's it is what it is, and it's you know that's because it's real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Let's spin the camera around. This is the wife. Yes. Sorry, another. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Another interruption. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the wife turning up in our dog car. Um, dog stroke pony car. I know. Um, did you say dog. dogging? <laughs> Laura, is this your dogging car? It's my it? dogging car. Oh, is yeah. it? <laughs> I've done um, Miles worth yeah, of dogging. Yeah. 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 Have you is this have you got is this Rich's tea? This is yours yeah. Rich's tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is our tea for the night. Test testament this to is, uh, this Yeah, this, this, this is Richard's dinner with that, that <laughs> fast fibre. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear that? Two hundred and seventy seven thousand miles. Yeah. That's that's yeah. been yeah. looked after by MJ Performance. And guys yeah. guys, let us know going. let us know in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Let us know in the comments if you want to see Rich take this one out because we can do a full build review on this one. <laughs> Uh, it's got it's got the standard car. limited edition but, uh, yeah. wind mirrors as well. No. You've already stolen one of her cars. Believe it or not, gonna, yeah, yeah. believe it or not, you wouldn't want to go in anything else on a long journey than this. It, these, no. you get out of this, fresh as a daisy. Fresh as a daisy. Right? <laughs> Everything else, yeah. your back's killing you. <laughs> yeah, fantastic car. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Well, I look well enough for you now. Right, guys, um, we'll continue the walk around. We've got still got Joe with us because. Um, He's quite interested to see what we've got going on in the workshops. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, we'll be quick about it because it's just trying to <laughs> get a bit of a shower going on here. So, um, yeah. so this this um, 07 plate ST225, uh, new customer. Uh, a bit like Joe that's come in. You know, he's he's looked us up, found us, and um, come along. Yeah. This has got a problem. This has recovered to us. Um, it's got power steering leak. So, first thing to do is not continue to drive it. It's lost all the fluid from the power steering pipes. Yeah. They're basically, they've basically been ground down to nothing. So something's gone on there, but something's caught it and just trapped it and dragged it along the ground. So he's not sure what's, you know, what else is going on with the car. So we've got to go through the whole car and then just do a complete check on it. Give us, give him our honest opinion, and then we'll move on from there. What it needs, you know, the brakes need doing on the front. They're, they're no good. You know, the, the rears. We've just done a quick check on it, but we'll come back to that one again. We'll do a feature on, on that one there. Another yeah, time. As we, as we go on it. Um, yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah well, there, there's another one of our future projects over there, the old um, P100. P100. Can't beat it. That will be called the Poo 100. Yeah. And yeah, we're coming to a racetrack soon. Yeah, it's going to have yeah. uh, <laughs> an, engine, a, an engine swap on that one, isn't it, Rich? Uh, yeah, slightly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're in the MOT base and. Um, yeah, we've got these two lovely. Yeah. Well, you've cars. seen you've seen Monty's, 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 Monty's before, which um, is um, uh, you know that's ongoing at the moment. Like I said, we're we'll give you a quick update on that. Our little beast is going up to Simpson. Should have been going up to Simpson Race Exhausts for the rest of the exhaust configuration um, last month, but due to um, unforeseen circumstances with regards to. Um, Delays. Yeah, one of these uh, guys is not very yeah, well. Yeah, delays, etc. So, yeah, uh, so that's that's put everything back. So we're now booked in for the first week of March to take the little beast up. That will go up. It will be configured onto our car first, and then uh, we've got something special going on with the little beast for exhaust side of things, which we'll share with you in a uh, uh, you know in a future video. And then it'll be configuring it on ours. Then it can be fitted straight onto Monty's. Okay. We've still got the Escort Cosworth here, which is, um, we love having that here. Again, just having the time to, to get to it and in, in, uh, sort it out, but that's, yeah. that's near on completed now. We've got, a, we've got to MOT it and all that sort of stuff, but there's no yeah. rush on that. The These guys don't. Know, is it not very easy? <laughs> no, it's 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 not, at all, not at all. It's, um, yeah. it's, great, it's great to have that here, yeah. you know. It's, um, 
It amazes me sometimes. I think myself, I mean, look at look at look what's here. Yeah. You know, and it's it's quite an honour, really. You know, it's quite humbling yeah. to have so many. Well, we've got two special cars oh, through here, haven't yeah, we, Martin? Fantastic. I mean, we've just looked outside. Look, we got we got our edition. You know, which doesn't really count. I mean, that's our own car in it. But yeah. we've got Joey's turned up that. Um, yep. which is fantastic. We've got the other Mark III Focus RS, which is new customer for the Stage 2 performance pack we talked about. This is uh, Phil's um, fantastic, uh, one of our one of our favourites, you know, this Mark III Focus RS. The, this is now, you've seen it at a, at a different stage where me and Rich talked about it with regards yeah. to <coughs> yeah. uh, where we're at with it. We've talked to Joe about it because he's interested in some of the mods that's, uh, that Phil's had uh, done on it by us. Uh, and that's what happens. And then it's like, you know, other people want it as well, so um, that's really good. But this is at the stage you've seen it before, where there was quite a bit different. There was bits and pieces on the floor, and now the soft frames all all back up on the on the underside. Um, interesting. Yeah, so we this. saw this just before Christmas, yeah, didn't we? we? Did, now yeah. so it's been it's now, it's moved now along. Going through different phases again. There's certain hold ups. You'll always get hold ups on a certain thing, waiting for things to be made or supplied. So. That's what um, what delays things. As you can see, we fitted a Mishimoto uh, oil catch can system on it. That's all been done. Um, the front uh, H and R adjustable operating anti roll bar is all on. All the power flex brushes are on the front. Um, so we're just waiting. The the quake diff's all been fitted. We've done all that. We shared that with you last time. Yeah. So the 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 newest part, which is interesting, is on the radiator side of it. So. If you scan down there, Tim, that's the standard stock radiator, yep. which is okay, does the job. You know, it's got the plastic end tamps with the you know, the pressed uh, aluminium, it's fine, okay? But we choose an upgrade. So we, we always fit Pro Alloy, as we said in, uh, you know, previous videos. And he's had a Pro Alloy one fit, so you can just about, you know, like here, look. We will share, we've got lots of... Um, you know, yeah, pictures, we're going to be showing the pictures yeah, of, of the build, build, aren't we? We absolutely. Yeah. So that's the Pro Alloy one again, yeah. similar to what you know we've uh, upgraded that we've done on the Little Beast, uh, and soon to be done on yours, Tim. Which is, yeah. you know, it's 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 far far superior to the standard one. Yeah. Whereas regards to cooling, efficiency, and all sorts, not so much. Well, not the... well, not to digress too much from this fantastic car, yeah. but obviously the spal fan on the ST 180s. Yeah. Uh, of the weight of it is yeah. actually the same it, as it is, the yeah. whole other kit. So it you're is. You're saving so much yeah, weight, do, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. I mean, it's the same sort of principle. You don't do any of the um, fan, you know, swap over on this. It's not necessary. It's got twin fans on this, whereas like on the ST 180s, just a single fan with the cowling, and. We um, we retain the aircon. We don't we don't do aircon delete on this. There's no. Yeah. It's not that type of upgrade. You don't you don't, you don't really want to be doing it on one of these. Um, but yeah. So there's lots more to share on on this one in, in up and coming videos. And then we move across to watch your head there, mate. Yeah, I will uh, do. Yeah. You, uh, we move across now to this. Very, very, another very, very special Mark III Focus RS. So, now do you, Martin, just before we go yeah. any further, do you want to tell people the mileage on this car? Uh, it's done less than 800 miles and it's a two, late 2016 Absolutely car. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. yeah. So, this customer, uh, returning customer, we've already done a Revo Stage 1 on this one. And we also fitted the, the carbon intake uh, induction side of things, which is also what Joe's interested in and having fitted yeah. to this. Okay. So, that's already been done. Um, now it's back for uh, to stage two. So he's going to the stage two performance pack now, um, which is the natural progression from the stage one. Yeah. So on this particular one, we will be fitting, um, it's um, the stage two performance pack that Reeve will do, includes the uh, the carbon fiber um, crossover pipe, but he's already got that. So he's not having a uh, performance pack as such, like the, the other blue one that we see out there. So this is um, going to have separates. So we'll be fitting the um, the Pro Alloy intercooler, Pro Alloy operator boost pipe kit, uh, Revo rear motor mount. Um, we'll change. We'll put an operated um, um, recirculation valve on it. Yeah. Stiffer spring, which is recommended if you're going to if you're starting to put more power and torque through. Um, you know, with the software, uh, it just holds the boost better. Um, the sound suppressor. As we mentioned, um, you know, when Joe was there, it's uh, get rid of that horrible, terrible whistle, um, you know, an annoying whistle, um, which is evident on some Mark III Focus RSs. Okay, um, yeah. So that, that's that's um, that's that different. I mean, the stage at the moment. Yeah, the front bumper's off it, and 
Um, we've just mounted the front intercooler, but that's going to be stenciled. So we need to just mock off a stencil and then yeah. take it off. There's a bit of a bit of um, you know a bit of legwork involved with that because it's like take it off, put it back on again, try that. No, it's not right. Put it back on again. So it's time consuming. But as Rich has mentioned before, yeah. things have to be bang on, Rich, don't they? They do. They have to be bang on because um, it, it's got to look right. Um, customers wouldn't mm. expect anything else. Uh, you know, if you've got wonky stencils in the front of the car, <laughs> it's it just not, not going to look or right. Or we could put it upside down. We could, actually. Yeah. 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 Put it upside down. But also, also, Rich, um, don't want any spelling mistakes on the stencils either, do no, we? No, we don't. No. no. Never a good look. <laughs> no. I mean, as you can see also... There's quite, you know, there's quite a bit happening down here at the moment. There's quite a few um, items in the way, yeah. Uh, so we're struggling. For, yeah, it looks like uh, well, we're struggling for looks space. Like it looks like Del Boy's flat there at the moment. Yeah, we're doesn't struggling it? for space a bit. So um, any chance you move it out of the way, Rich? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he's doing his best there. Uh, he's doing his best, Martin. Give him his cheese. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, well, you nearly picked up the brush there. Yeah, we're going to start yeah. sleeping. <laughs> we, um, well, yeah. Again, I think we'll let's walk around here. Though. Let's, let's let's walk around here. We'll just talk you as we're walking around. Here. So. I need just a uh, quick one. So, just scan down there. So that's the standard stock catalytic converter on a Mark III Focus RS. Okay, it'll be I think it's like six eight hundred cell flow on that roughly. So then when you upgrade it to which you have to for stage two uh, of any stage two really. So the hardware would be such. So that's he's already got a mount tune um, V3 cat back on it. Yeah. Okay, so. He will have to, he's got to use the mounting sport cat. You can't fit anything else, it won't fit. Okay, so we've he supplied that himself to us. So that'll be going on. So that, that now becomes a 200 cell high flow sport cat. So do your maths, there we are. So you've got a higher flow rate going through, which is what you need for the uh, for the stage two and the, the increased power and torque. Okay, so that just gives you a little idea. The intercooler down there, that's not off this one, that's uh, an AirTech one which come off. Phil's black yes, one there, yeah. which we discussed in a previous. Uh, yeah, it was on there uh, just before Christmas. It was, and we said that that's being changed for a pro oil, which yeah. is going to be changed. We we'll just quickly walk around the front. I'll show you the uh, the pro oil one, just mocked up on the front of this. There's no fence on it yet, but it just gives you an idea of. Um, so, um, yeah, we just just um, just have a quick look there, scan in there. Uh, and that's just pro oil one, just mocked up at the moment. We've got a stencil it, and then behind Rich there. Is the carbon fiber crossover pipe off this very, particular car? Uh, very okay, pretty. that's in the gloss carbon finish. They also do it in a satin carbon finish. So you know whatever takes your fancy, really. That's yeah. proper pre preg yeah. carbon carbon tubing. So it's so you can see inside see that, there. Look, 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 see, see the carbon inside. So the same sort of same stuff as what they use on all racing, you know, F1 and everything. So yeah. it's um, yeah. it's big fans of our uh, carbon fiber, aren't we? Well, it, it looks fantastic. It's a lot less weight. It's stronger. Um, why wouldn't you want it? I mean, you know, some people don't like carbon fiber, yeah. but I yeah. don't, I don't, you know, that's that's you know, their 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 choice. It's their but, choice, yeah. But we love the day, We love the carbon fiber. You're going to see loads of carbon fiber on the Mark III Focus RS, our, our demo car, uh, and it's the it's the way to go, I think. But yeah, well, it's been lovely talking to you guys, and um, we're going to go out and do some testing in a bit. Um, mm. And obviously, we've got some jobs to do in the garage, but. Yeah, uh, I'll let Martin do the outro no. today because he keeps on moaning at me that. Well, I'm who, who's who's like doing that. it? I'm confused. There, <laughs> who wants to do the out, outro? Well, we've just mentioned there about the um, some tidying up to do. Is that uh, right? Yeah. 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 That involves yeah. the brush with Rich. Yeah, the, the brush. Well, if um, yeah. Rich, the, go and uh, work. Rich, go and work that brush, and Martin can <laughs> do the outro. I, I will yeah. do. I'm going to go and pick up the brush, guys. But yeah. nice yeah. to talk to you. Yeah. You know what to do. I'll leave it to Martin. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Are you right? Can you hang on a minute? You might have. To, you might have to go around this way, Rich. I can't, I can't fit. Can you get through there, mate? Yeah. Just breathe in, Rich. Breathe in. You'll be all right. No problem. I was going to take a ramp up so we could get underneath it, but um, yeah. Right. As Rich said, uh, same as usual, guys. Uh, thanks very much for 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 listening. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell button. Like, comment down below, and we'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks, guys.